everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP, Steven Sykes, host of Enliven Radio and also part of Sykes Talent Group. And today is a real joy. I had the honor and pleasure to be with the Taylor family. How y'all doing today? Good, Mr. Good. LP. <laughs> no. Real good, Steven. Thank you. Thank you for coming. How's your trip in Virginia so far? Oh, I think it was really good. Okay. How about you, ma'am? Uh, we love Virginia. Okay. Where, where did y'all come from? We live in Maine. Maine. Okay, cool. We, we've lived there a long time. Um, originally, we grew up in Richmond, but yeah. we've lived in Maine for probably 42 years. Oh, it's beautiful yep. up there. Yeah. It's Maine's. beautiful. So, uh, Miss Amy, how do you like Richmond? <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying it, but I, I love it when my parents come down to visit. Not a problem, not a problem. <laughs> Now, uh, Mr. Mr. Taylor, uh, what a couple of quick questions. What kind of things that y'all did um, over the years? I, I understand that y'all still may be retired now, yes. what have you. But what kind of work did y'all do in, um, in the previous years? Okay. I'm kind of shocked you're retired because you look kind of young. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Tom, What you worked at the... University of... Uh, I've had several, so... The University of Maine... For how many years? I was it forty-two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. that's right. And and uh, I was originally a social worker, mm -hmm. and then I went back to school to become a nurse. Oh my! Yeah. So helping people it sounds like it's in a family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, today's topic I wanted to go over and not keep you too long is Alzheimer's. Okay. Um, a lot of people in the world are dealing with it now and it's becoming mm -hmm. progressive, progressive along with some of the other ailments out there. And one of the beautiful things with your family is that y'all took tackled it full head on. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of people and hopefully I'm seeing this video that they can understand um, that it's not something to be ashamed of. No. Uh, and, and to keep going and finding it because a lot of people are having trouble talking about it, deal with it, and just stand it up. And um, I just wanted to see, get your thoughts on it and, you know, how have y'all dealt with it on a daily basis? Well, Tom was diagnosed with Alzheimer's um, four years ago, and it came on slowly, um, and it's still progressing slowly, mm -hmm. thank goodness. And um, he, when he was diagnosed, he took it very stoically, and he said, I won't forget said, well, we've all got to die from something. <laughs> and uh, and he's, he's maintained a really good attitude. And, um, well, at first there was a little bit of rebellion. Are you sure that's the correct diagnosis? Um, but it, it, he's so patient with it. And he's accepting. And, um, and I'm accepting of it too and we're in a, a good position because we're both retired mm -hmm. so we have time to be together and help each other. Alright. Mr. Tom. Well I'd just like to say um, that um, I'm a professor when I you know, just uh, um, retired. retirement and uh, I liked, I really liked the uh, uh, several different universities because we moved up you know and it was, uh, it's been really uh, good, and I think that my, I'm what is my, it's 46, 40, no, what is it, 41. You worked there 41 years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. as a professor. Yeah. What, what kind of professor? Uh, it's uh, several, several things, mainly, um, he loves politics. Oh, okay. He started out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, hey, we yeah, were in this now. <laughs> uh, he was professor of political science okay. for 20 years, and then the next 20, he morphed into public administration. Uh, the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, they move it around, you know, they change the, not the names or the things. I kind of noticed that. Yeah. But, uh, so. Yeah. But it's basically those three things, yeah. Yeah. Well, Mr. Tom, how do you feel today? How's every day feeling for you? Pretty good today. Very, very good. Uh, maybe the weather, because uh, we've had some really good day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure later, later um, maybe it was earlier, really, that, uh, that 
that would that would occur and have a really good uh, way to uh, feel when you're doing something outside. So, I, so despite the, uh, the Alzheimer's, you mm -hmm. still work to stay active mm -hmm. in things. What he just said really um, was perfect, Stephen, because what Tom has found, um, he joined a gym two and a half years ago, mm -hmm. and he goes three times a week, no religiously he goes, yeah, and he works out on the um, cardio and the weights, and that's really revived him. Believe it or not, the exercise gets the blood circulating to the brain so much, and he just loves it. He looks forward to it. So that, um, there's some medications that are commonly prescribed, and he takes those well. Um, then we try a different... Uh, more natural remedies such as um, we always eat a vegetarian diet yeah, that yeah. really helps it uh -huh. helps prevent cholesterol and artery clogging in your brain that that helps um, and the common medications that are the doctors always prescribe and then we try sometimes like um, some coconut oil is supposed to help um, nourish the brain in a different way than regular food because it's a different type of fat so when you cook the vegetables, you cook with uh, coconut oil? Yes, okay. yes, yes. And um, what are the other one? good ones? Um, the exercise, nutrition, the medication, um, keeping active socially. Socially is important. He, he loves our... Um, support system in Maine and their church especially. Uh, yeah. That's one of the good things I would say that people who are going through Alzheimer's or just uh, when you're in your stages of retirement, it's always good to have a good support system. It is, it is. Now you have lovely children. Thank you. And things that they're very um, active and they do a lot of different things. Uh, sir, I'm quite sure you're very proud of your children. Oh yeah. I don't. I'm. We're, we're working on things, and, and uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, I, when I, I think I, I come back and go back and come back and go back. I'd like to have it fifty-fifty <laughs> in in where we're doing, and when what the other is. So, so y'all spend the summer up there. The children come up there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Ideally, we will eventually move here. But for now, we want six months in Maine, six months in Virginia. <laughs> and uh, the summers in Maine are just beautiful. So. I don't think anybody's going to hurt you or complain about that. No, no, no. That's a great yeah. place. Yeah. yeah. What are some of the things that we talked about, uh, eating healthy, staying mm -hmm. active socially and things like that. What steps um, would you say, either one of you, that you have to find yourself, let's say, okay, to get over the hump to mm -hmm. accepting it? Because there's people who's had it for years and refuse to accept it. Oh, that's true. How did you accept it? I, I really didn't how to know know how to do it, but I mean, I, it's it's not bothering me in that in that situation. No, no. no. I I will remember when he was first diagnosed. The doctor says, he said, um, well, Tom. Um, Sometimes now with Alzheimer's, your judgment won't be quite right, and it's important to have a person at your work. He was still working then. Okay. Um, to tell you when things aren't quite right. So he said, please get one colleague and ask them, am I doing okay still? Because you wanted to be effective as a teacher. So um, he asked his friend, Ken. He said, Ken... I have a memory problem now. Um, you didn't write on, say, the word Alzheimer's. You said at first, I have a memory problem. Um, am, I, am I doing okay? And Ken said, oh, yeah, you're, you're perfect in class and everything. So it was so, um, it was his routine to be the teacher, and he knew just what to say. So um, Tom said, well, please let me know if you see that it's becoming... Um, apparent because I don't want to embarrass the department or myself. And Ken said, I will. Well, then um, it just worked out, fortunately, that um, he retired then the next year. So it, it all worked out. 
but at first he, he did have to ask a friend to say, let me know if I'm doing okay. What would, have you met other people with Alzheimer's? Because some people find that support, you know, talking with other people and try to carry on that way. We haven't been to a support group in Maine okay. for, for that because he's been so good. Mm -hmm. That may be a good idea, though. Okay. It may it's be just good. just a thought and things like that. Or sometimes people just, it just naturally happen. They have friends who yeah. had it and the next thing you know, they may have That's it. That's a good idea. Yeah. And so forth. So it goes from there. Um, this Saturday mm -hmm. coming up, um, we'll meet a lot of people when we go back to Maine because in Maine, this Saturday is the walk to end Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's and several walks here in Richmond. For yeah, that yeah. Well. Different states have different dates, so we'll be with a whole lot of people in Maine Saturday, mm -hmm. and so we'll, that'll be maybe the start of our little support support group um, right. of people with Alzheimer's. No problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the good thing is you're here. You get to see your grandchildren and children and things like yeah. that. I just want to let you know, it's still legally okay to beat your kids as an adult. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got some things that, you know, if your children have done, I won't say on uh -huh. that we need to get the belt out. So I just want to let you know. Oh, the belt. That's a good Southern thing. <laughs> I was brought up in the, in the South, and I was... Uh, victimized by the belt. <laughs> but I'll tell you, the, the belt, it kind of made me go the right path. Okay. But then our generation didn't do that to our kids. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. So, so in other words, the kids got away with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, you're great. No problem. Well, I want to say I, I thank y'all very much for this interview and then your time here. And, um, you know, anybody out there that has Alzheimer's, you know, as you can see, you don't have to be scared of it. No. Um, you can uh, still function and do a variety of different things. And you can obviously see uh, the tailors are still at it. And even if you may not have that family support, community support, friends, or anything like that, at least, A, get yourself to a good doctor, and then most importantly, pray. And, and oh. keep going and things of that nature. I couldn't say it better. That's good. That's good. That's good. No problem. I thank y'all very kindly, and y'all have a blessed day. And bye-bye. Thank you. Uh -huh.